Good morning, tubers. How you guys doing today, man? Hopefully everybody's well. I'm just sitting at home relaxing a little bit. My uh, my baby had to stay home from school today. She got up this morning and she was <laughs> my boxer over there moaning, groaning. She uh, she got up like normal this morning and uh, everything was copacetic and. Apparently she got a mama's SUV and uh, became the exorcist and out it came. She got real sick. So spent the morning uh, making sure she's all right. She stayed home with daddy. She she slept for a couple hours after, after all the incidents and everything. I, I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with her. She's fine right now. You know, knock on wood. But uh, kept her home. She's upstairs. She slept for a couple hours. Woke her up. And uh, right now she's watching cartoons. And gave her a single banana. I chopped it up in a bunch of little pieces. That's part of what they call the brat diet. Um, for when kids are not feeling well. So I'm just assuming she had like a, a tummy bug or something. I don't, I don't know. Because right, right now she's fine. She's happy. She's got water, the banana. I'm going to see how she does on that. And then uh, yeah, move on from there as lunchtime comes around. And maybe, I don't know, maybe scramble her up an egg or something with nothing in it. And see how she does. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, that's my morning. I, uh, I was going to try and go back over the road today. But Mama... Mama had to go to work, and I'm staying home with the baby. So if I get a call, and it's something I can do that doesn't pick up for like an hour or two, I can call. I can call the wife, have her come home, and that'll give me time to be able to go pick it up and get a, get back on the road. But figured while the wife has the opportunity, might as well let her go to work and not have to miss any work as long as I'm still home. But uh, yes, yeah, so that's the plan right now. I can't take any spur of the moment runs, uh, you know, because a lot of times what will happen is they'll call me and they'll say, hey, we have a run picking up right now. Can you, you know, are you interested? But it's got to pick up now, meaning basically leave my house, go to get it, and get on the road. And if I do that, I can't do that right now because I got the baby. And if I call my wife, it takes her about 45 minutes to an hour just to get home. So... I'd have to wait at least an hour for her to get home and then leave. So I can't do any immediate runs. It has to be something scheduled that's, you know, out an hour or two. doesn't pick up until the afternoon or something. So if something like that, like I said, if something like that pops up, I'll just give her a buzz, tell her to, you know, come home, and I'll go back over the road. I don't want her to miss any work or anything, but, yeah. That's kind of where you're stuck when you have a child. Um... Even daycares, they don't they don't want your your baby there if it's sick. So your hands are tied, you know. It's like you call off work, it's a strike against you, and your work says, well, why can't you take it to daycare or have a babysitter? Well, because daycare won't take your baby when it's sick, and we don't have like a we don't have like a a, a family or a friend or nothing like that that can watch her. All of us work. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get back on the road real soon, though, and make some money. Today is Tuesday. Um, I did get quite a few calls yesterday, but uh, none of them bit. I don't know, maybe my prices were too high. I, I couldn't tell you. But, uh, yeah, I had probably seven, eight, nine calls yesterday, and not a single one of them uh, followed through or went through or came through. So here I sit, Tuesday, still waiting. I'm not. I'm trying not to fret, trying not to stress. I know it'll. I know I'll get out there. I just got to make a bunch of money because the holidays are coming, and we always get slow around the holidays. Um, so anyway, you guys trying to go to uh, Laredo, California, the western areas? Um, I mean, I know. I know it's hard sometimes dealing with the rates that are out there, but. 
we're not going to get nothing accomplished if if we keep on taking them low rates, man. You you just gotta you, you gotta stop it. You gotta knock it off. I hate to sound like that guy or be that guy, but it, it's killing everybody else. Um, you know, we got guys going down to Laredo that are sacrificing, going all the way down to 55, 59 cents a mile. That is ridiculous. We shouldn't have to do that, man. We should not have to do that. And the more of you, us, whatever, that fall for that, it's just going to continue declining. And we're never going to make any money. All of us are going to go broke. This, this used to be, you know, I've only been in it a year. So what I'm about to say, I'm, I'm giving you from veteran expediters that I've spoke to, who has been doing this, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten years. This used to be an industry where you could make money, make a damn good living, and apparently it's declined in the years past. And it's, it's you know, partially due to folks taking cheap rates. Um, you know, if you, if you leave an area, northeast, north, northwest, and it takes you west, Make sure you're getting a great rate going down. And then if you got to get a bad rate coming out, I mean, I understand you have to sacrifice a little bit, but don't go all the way down to the 50s, man, or even the 60s. If you got to do 60s, I don't even want you doing that. But if you have to, make it high 60s, man, low 70s. Um, I mean, it sucks. It really sucks. Uh, I hate that those numbers are even coming out of my mouth because I I will not do those numbers. I, I will not go down there and allow them to do that to me. I haven't been, since all this stuff has really gotten bad, I haven't been down out west. Cali, Laredo, nothing. It's been a couple months since I've been out that way. And I refuse to go because I'm not going to stick myself or put myself in that position to where I'm forced to take you know, that, that, that low of a number, it, it just, it's sickening and I just can't do it. So y'all need to stop, man. Y'all need to, y'all need to get your heads together, your heads right. And, and if you got to go out West, man, get a good number going out West and that will help alleviate some of the strain that you're going to take getting back out of there. You know, if you come from North, 85 95 a dollar going west well you have you have a few pennies to spare to lay on top of that cheap rate that you got to bring coming out of west but you have to stick to your guns man you have to you can't resort to taking those low pennies man just tell them no no I'm not going to work for that that's that's ridiculous so if you guys can man come on help us out we got to get this industry back we got to get under control we can't be taking that cheap freight man so, on that, man, there's my rant. Y'all have a good day that way. We'll see you. Bye.